Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my um what month again? September favourites. And it's just basically makeup and cosmetics and shit like that. So um I recently learned how to do my eyebrows because before when I filled them in they looked like fucking blocks on my head. So I got this um brow kit from the collection and it comes with three different colors black brown and this creamy color but it doesn't exactly look brown on camera it looks um more purple and that's because it has a purple undertone or a top tip i don't know how clear is that it i used to use this one and i could never blend up here and then i was like hmm, i'll try this one out so i tried it and now i love it and this is brow gel and it used to be clear and now it's going this horrible icky colour. I don't even know what colour it is. And that was this entire kit was like four euro in boots and I I love it. I love it. Um my second favourite is my clippies, my claws. I'd be lost without these jokes because I'm forever clawing up my hair. Especially when I'm straightening it or trying to get it to dry quicker and stuff like that. <clears throat> I got a pack of eight and pennies for two euro. I love these jokes. Um, my third favorite then is all my, all my beauty blenders. This one is by Real Techniques and I need a new one because I took a chunk out of it when I was washing it and it's no longer orange. I use this for my foundation and yeah, that's my first beauty blender. My second one then is this one. Here my nose. Is this green one and I use this for blending cream contour or um, yeah, blending cream con contour, that's usually all I use it for. Um, it's a lot harder. Why is it making noise? Oh, it's making noise. Why does it make noise? It's, it's not them. Oh, they all make noise. Okay. <laughs> I just use this for cream contour. Um, I got that in pennies. Shut up. I got this in pennies ages ago. I don't know how long ago. I only recently started using it. And then this beauty blender, it, um, it used to be white. And then I used it for some type of foundations, but now I use it for like baking and like highlighting my under eyes and doing my T zone and stuff like that. Um. I'm not sure where I got this. It's a lot harder than the other beauty blenders. But I like it. It's handy. And I like the flat edge. Um, and then my last beauty blender is this orange one. But it doesn't exactly look orange. But down there it doesn't. Uh, excuse me. I'm eating my hair. But um, yeah, I got this in pennies and I've only used it once. And I don't like it. How it feels, it's too hard. Shut up! You think I'd know to put my phone on silent with before I make a video? Yeah, I don't like using this because it's really hard and no matter how damp you get it, it's still really hard. Good for a stress ball, but it's too hard for me. Um, that's true. My fourth one then is... I don't even know. One minute. I don't even know who makes this. I lost a little bit ages ago and I bought it ages ago and I never used it. But all I know is that it's 04 Lexi Brown. Um, That's the back of it looks like. But I, I don't know where the lid is. But it's um really nice shimmery um brown shadow. So that's what it looks like. Um. One, two, three. My fourth one then is drop it. My NYX 
smoking hot um, Showtime mascara. Because every other mascara I buy clumps. I really like this. And I'm nearly all out of it. And not NYX. NYC have discontinued all their makeup altogether. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Okay. My fifth one then is my Osiris Eyes BB Cream. I don't, I don't know where it was gotten. It has SPF 15 in it. Um, it's really good. I use it for, say, when you apply way too much foundation or your foundation is a bit darker than your natural skin tone. I apply it along there. Just have everything blend and be evened out. But yes, this is a lifesaver. Um, sorry, I keep counting how many things I've done. Um, this is my seventh. Can I get this shape to not look stupid? It's my seventh um, favorite September. Favorite? The um, it's a W7 Genius Feather Light Foundation, and it's a dropper. So you instead of like a pump, I can't get this shape to work. It's like that. It looks gross, but it's it's not. It's when you apply it, it doesn't have like a like a dewy finish. It's really, it's really soft. You don't feel it on your skin, and it's in the color true beige. I could have sworn I got this in tan beige. I'm almost positive I picked this up in tan beige when I bought it the other day. Hmm. Um, my eight. September fave then is my Essence Cajal, is that how you say it? Cajal, Cajal pencil in the shade 08 Teddy and it's it's really nice. It, it's very similar to the eyeshadow. That's a swatch of it but I really like this. It's It stays on all day like it's long wear. I'm not wearing it now because I forgot to put it on. But it's long lasting and I think it was only two euro. <sighs> my one, two, three, four. My ninth, and I don't even know what number one this is. My other September fave is the Shine and Tint by number seven. It's a purpley color. It has a really chemically, chemically smell, but that's the color. And it's it's really really pretty. Um, I got this in boots I think ages ago, and I use it every now and again. But it dries and it's really nice. That's what it looks like. It's more it's it's like a berry color between red and purple. I really like it. Um, and then my favorite eyeliner. I recently purchased this because my Catrice broke, and there was no way of fixing it and the one broke and the, the shit inside spilt everywhere so I gave up I was like I fucked up by noon. So this is the Essence Dip Eyeliner Bleh. I can't speak Dip Eyeliner and it's waterproof This is tree or something like that It's I think it's in the shade Black is Black and I don't like um the Hairy ones, does that make sense? The hairy applicators ones for liquid eyeliner that have shut up like hairs as the tip of the wand, whereas this one has like a, a spongy thing. I really like this one, and it's easy application as well, and it stays on like all day. Um, the next one then is my Essence highlighter. Because God knows I'm waiting, I'm waiting forever for my Anastasia Beverly Hills to be delivered. But this is really good. It was five euro or something. Um, that's the first. You can't even see my lips. That's the first color. First, second, and third. You can't really see the third because it's more of a gold color. 
I tend not to use that one. Oh no, I just scratched it. Yeah, that's, this is really good. This is really good. And then I use this translucent powder by NYC in 701A translucent, but it still dries in white sometimes. So I tend not to use like sponge when applying this. What is going on with my hair? Um, but this is really good and I've worn it down to the palette. I hit pad up this, um, but I, I love this, it's really good. And then for contour I use this and it's all faded. It is a contour powder palette from Penny's. Um, it's basically what the inside looks like. When I first got this, this was shit, but now I like it. And last but not least, my paddle brush. Shut up! My paddle brush from Penny's. I'd be lost without this. I love this look and it's brand new. I can even broke my last one. Yes, I love this brush. Um, so that's all my September faves right now. Um, I'll probably do one in October, considering it's my birthday and stuff. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!